All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome to part two of my What's Fishing series where I take my top baits of the week and I show them off. So hopefully that helps you guys catch some fish. So this week, I've got some fresh baits for you. I kind of held off on part two because um, if I had done it on my normal schedule, um, part two would have been mostly the same baits as part one. So I held off. Um, we had some warm weather this last week or so and uh, the fish really changed their feeding habits and all that stuff where they were where they were hanging out so I kind of switched up my my uh, strategies so I'm gonna show off some fresh baits for you so first things first um, the number one producer the last week or so has been uh, the Ned rig I probably shouldn't even show you my color combo but um, that's a two and three quarter inch TRD in the deal color. It's got a green pumpkin with that um, laminate with that pearl bottom. Perfect bluegill imitation and, and that chartreuse finesse shrimps really hits at home. Um, kind of just a good bluegill imitation all around for you bluegill fisheries, um, fishery guys. Also, you know, you can always go with your tried and true green pumpkin, never fails. Um, Ned rigs, I catch bass, bluegill, crappie, pike, I mean, just everything on these things. So, um, definitely a good producer. And if you want to switch it up a little bit, if you're like a shad guy or a heavy bait fish, fishery guy, um, you can go with this is the Baby Z2. Uh, still the same Elastec uh, plastic, just in that fluke style body shape. I've got it paired up with a 10th ounce um, finesse shrooms. Um, you can also upgrade your hardware to, this is, um, what's it called, the Nedlocks. Just a little bit firmer hardware, heavier wire hook. Um, you know, you can sink that hook deeper. You can horse those bigger fish um, for you southern guys or just somebody that's chafing giants on a net rig. You know, that sturdier hardware will help you get that hook in and keep it there without bending it out on those bigger fish. Second, um, no, second and last, I really only had two main baits that I used. I'll kind of bring up some other ones probably, but these are my two main producers. So the other one is this little guy right here. This is a Strike King Bitsy Minnow. It's an eighth of an ounce. It's a tiny little square bill. And I love the action on these things. They have a great, um, you know, great swimming action in the water. One of the first modifications I make when I pull these out of the package is I will actually swap these hooks out for something a little smaller. Um, I fish these on light line, light tackle, um, like a medium light or a medium action rod, spinning rod, and you know, four to six pound test fluorocarbon. Um, so they don't really need super you know, heavy hooks. Um, you can get away with these lighter hooks without bending them out. And I'm not really chasing giants with these, really just looking for numbers. And these things flat out produce. I have caught tons of giant bluegill, crappie, and bass on these. Um, lots of smaller bass, but I will catch giants on these too. So um, don't worry if you've got to, you know, if you're worried about catching big fish with these, you will still catch them. Um, and then I haven't thrown this yet, but I'm willing to bet that if I tie it on, you know, a full size square bill right now, I would catch some fish on it. Um, you know, like I said, that weather's starting to warm up, those fish, those bass are chasing bait fish, uh, really starting to get into it. So I just haven't been anywhere where I've needed a full size square bill yet. So I wanted to bring that up because it's another good one. Um, and then as we progress, I think this is also, I'm confident that this is also a good bait. Um, you know, just a finesse swim bait, um, a bare swim bait head with, you know, those, this is a mega bass has a dunk shad. Um, you can also use like your swing impacts from Kai Tech, um, even a dark sleeper, just something that's a good, you know, moving bait uh, and your paddle tails should be good right now. Um, that's pretty much all I've got right now. Um, this is kind of what's been working for me. So. Hopefully this helps you catch some fish and I will talk to you guys later.